Hooked up. What we got? How's it going today, everyone? Creek Crawler here. If you notice behind me, I am on the great and mighty Ohio River. Today we're gonna to be throwing some swim baits here. This is Racine Locks and Dam down here on the Ohio West Virginia border. We have overcast skies, it's about 54 degrees. I got my jacket on, there's a little wind here and there. Sorry for the audio in advance if it's a lot of uh, fuzziness and whatnot. But we're gonna try down here at the Racine Locks and Dam. Nobody's down here, I'm by myself. So maybe we can get into some fish. I'm seeing some fish bust out here in the, out in the middle of the water, so I'm gonna be tying on the Nico swim bait, the Winnow 95. We're gonna pair that up with a uh, underspin, like I've been using in the hawking. So I'm gonna use that technique and bring it down here to the Ohio River. See if we can't get on to any big hybrids, walleyes, smallmouth. You never know what you're gonna get in the river. That's why I love fishing them so much. Stay tuned for the action, guys. Let's see if we can't catch a fish. Let's go! Right before we start casting out, I'm gonna go over my gear. Since I'm on the Ohio River, I kind of did a little upgrade. I got my 2500 Daiwa Tatula. My TP1 Black Speed Stick, medium, fast action, but this rod is really stiff. A lot of backbone. I got it to a 14 pound shock leader. And this is the awesome bait we'll be using today. It's the Nico Winnow 95. This is a three and three quarters inch swim bait, so it's just under four inches. And I was getting a ton of short strikes. So this is a little tackle tip for y'all. I put on a little stinger hook rig here on the bottom on the back of the tail so when those fish come up and heat that tail instead of me pulling it out of their mouth they're going to get that treble hook it does not impede the action and in fact oh my gosh there's a big fish right there what is that I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a big carp or something. I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting distracted too easily. But I'm going to show this underwater just to show you guys that the action of this bait is not impeded by this little stinger hook operation I got on the end of this bait. The soft plastic is going to last forever. Um, got the sexy shad. This is the Berkeley, Berkeley underspin. So we'll give it a shot here at the Ohio River. Maybe we can get something big today. I don't know. It's the recipe looks good. If they had this gen, this this uh, operation here going and up and running, there'd be a lot of current right here. But I'm seeing some fish just kind of cruise back and forth. I can't really tell what they are. Um, so we'll just keep fishing here and see if we can't get anything today. All right, I'm gonna try to record the swim bait underwater right here, so you guys can see the action of that swim bait, that blade spinning. This is an awesome combo for the Ohio River because you got toothy critters, you got these strong hybrid ba hybrid striped bass. And if you got a weak plastic, you'll go through them so quick. So this Nico soft plastic is unlike anything I've ever used before. And guys, this is this is an honest truth. I'm not telling you because I'm sponsored by them. Like I said, I don't get any monetary feedback from them. I'm just being honest. And yes, they are expensive, but the plastic, one of these, I still have one of these rigged up on my other rod that I've caught 30 bass on and it is yet to show any wear and tear. This is a new one today, but I wanted to put the stinger hook on here and just show you guys the action of this bait underwater. It gives off a vibration unlike any other swim bait on the market. So we'll get this going on and uh, see what we can see underwater. All right, now you guys can see how that action is really not impeded from this stinger hook on the back of this swim bait. It swims freely just like it would without one. This line, this little leader material, it swivels on the hook, you see that? So when that tail is thumping, there's nothing stopping that tail from thumping and doing, doing what it needs to do to get those bites. 
it's just going to help your little hookup it's going to help your hookup ratio a little bit when they come up and hit that tail and the smaller fish you know the white bass the crappie when they come up and hit that tail you're going to catch those too and it helps you increase your species species count and stuff while you're fishing so it's a win-win in my book all right let's see what we can get out here All right, we're going to leave this area of the Ohio River, go upstream a little bit, fish another dam possibly. And also there's a creek upstream that, um, that's pretty good when the river's up a few feet. The river is up a few feet, but it's still clear. But when it comes up, those predatory fish like to chase those bait fish up into the feeder creeks because it's a little bit deeper and they feel more comfortable. So we'll go upstream, fish a feeder creek, maybe fish another dam. But yeah, this, this bite's pretty much shut off when this hydro is turned off fish activity i see some way out there and it's just they're not close enough for us to target so we're gonna go upstream stay tuned for the action guys let's go all righty we made it to the little feeder creek i'm gonna throw the underspin right next to this waterfall see if there's any uh predatory fish waiting on the bottom right here in this little current scene let's see if there's anything hiding in here I want to say I just got hit right off the bat. Hooked up. What we got? Ooh, got the large mouth. Nice one too. And check out where he's hooked. Right on the stinger. See that? Isn't that awesome? Right on the little stinger hook. Hey, I'll take it. It's a nice little bass. Here you go, buddy. All right, let's get this back in there. Check there's a little bit of action. Hooked up. Look guys, I'm telling you, the stinger hook makes a difference in your catch rates. That's two back-to-back -back fish. Look, stinger hook right in the top lip. It's a little one, but that just goes to show you that that stinger hook, that's what that does. But I want to catch every fish I possibly can while I'm fishing. Put that back in the tail. awesome well all this rain wasn't supposed to happen today and uh water and camera gear and stuff doesn't really mix well it was a short video today um down in the creek but i hope somebody learned something if one person learned something today i'm gonna post this video i'm gonna post this video either way it's gonna be a short video but just give everyone a little tip today was rough um not much fish action on the river found a feeder creek got into a few bass and to be honest with you 100% honest if I wouldn't have had that stinger hook on my swim bait guarantee I wouldn't have got those bass they bit the tail I pulled them both in they were both on the stinger hooks so if it, so if at least one person learns from this video this is a success um, I wasn't originally going to post it just because I only caught a couple fish but you know what it's whatever um, I make these videos to help people so I hope you enjoyed the action today. Hopefully get back out on the Hawking River. It got completely destroyed. So I made my way to the Ohio River. The turbine wasn't going, or whatever they call it, down at Racine. So there wasn't much fish action today. Got to get home. It wasn't even supposed to rain. I was going to have like another hour or so to fish, but started pouring down rain. My cameras get wet and they get ruined. So pulled the plug on it, but you know, that's fishing. Caught a couple fish today. You can't tear them up, wear them out every time. You go out so i hope somebody learned something remember the stinger hooks on the end of your swim baits especially on the uh especially on the under spins um it's crucial highly highly effective um this was just a small sample to show you how well it actually does caught two bass today one was a nice pound and a half or so but 
If you enjoyed the action, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys out in the water. Let's go!